What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic. Back again with another video. Yes, I know it's been a while, man. But I'm back, man, with another unboxing. Another, not really another review, but just like a story, story time. Boom, we have it here. Directly in from USPS. A USPS box, straight from New York, man. Um, I did, I did buy these joints off of eBay. Um, before I get into this review, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell. So, um, right here, um, you may see that it's like folded up because I actually already opened this joint up just to kind of review, um, look at them, legit check these joints. Um, usually I'm kind of patient with that, but this is actually a grill. Um, I've been wanting to shoot for a long, 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 long time. So, um, I had it before, but I sold it, got it back. Um, but what I wanted to do with this one is just to make sure that they were 100% legit before I reviewed them. Um, I did watch multiple uh, videos on YouTube, and I also um, just kind of gonna legit check with um, Johnny's pair that he has at his crib. But um, after looking at videos and kind of doing all my comparing, I think these shoes are 100% legit. It is a used pair, straight into the story. So um, I'm believing this is like 2009, 2009. Um, I have been working at Winn-Dixie uh, for a while. I've been saving up my money, uh, working hard, buying clothes, buying like little shoes, like um, well, like little shoes, like let's see, Converse, Vans. But um, one day I go into the mall um, with my boys, and um, I, don't, I forgot who who was with me. But I went into the mall, uh, I went in the Foot Locker, and I, I picked up this shoe, right? And the shoe is just beautiful, gorgeous, man. I always wanted this shoe all my life, and it's in this box. So let's not waste too much time. I'm gonna open this up. Again, I already opened this up just for lit chat purses, but by this box, you should know exactly what's in here. Um, real OG heads know, uh, true sneaker heads may know. Um, if you don't know by now, this is an Air Jordan 12 box. Um, this is my grill, man, like my first ever Air Jordan sneaker that I bought with my money as a teenager um, and it always brings back memories um, I wanted to buy this for a long time again because I sold it and it just always been something I wanted to get back and I got it for a good price resell is up but I got it for a good price boom we have it here oh, got some stuff on it we have it here an Air Jordan 12 box you see it here um, the newer box they did put like the I was like on the Air Jordan 11 uh, they put the Nike right here and then they put the Just Do It right here, which I wish they would have did with this. Gave it that official OG treatment, but it's okay. It's all right. It's still, it's all about the shoe on this one here. So, enough of the talking. Um, the tag label reads, Air Jordan 12 Retro. Colorway is black, white, um, black metallic gold, nor, 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 or metallic blanc. Is this the right box? All right, y'all. So one thing I did just notice uh, while kind of getting y'all this review, uh, I did notice that the eBay seller did send me um, a replacement box. It is not the original Air Jordan 12 box. Um, but again, I already legit checked the shoe itself. Um, the box looked good. I did not read the label. So that was a red flag on my end. That's why I'm glad I do these reviews because I actually can go back and actually um, read it to you. So. Uh, I was reading the box label. Box label is uh, Air Jordan 12 Retro Colorway Black White Black Metallic Gold uh, Black Metallic Gold um, Nor Nor or Metallic Blanc. Um, retail was 190, which what the shoe that's inside this box is, is 190, but it is not this shoe. So more of a surprise for y'all. But let's start wasting time, and I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna have to open it up for y'all. Holy, holy grails in this joint. Holy grails. Again, first show I ever bought. And boom, and boom. We have it here. The Air Jordan 12 Flu Game. Um, first shoe I ever bought with my money as a teenager. Uh, memories from this shoe is so amazing. Um, again, it was about 2009, I believe. But the other version that I got was actually like the suede version. It's the one that has the 2-3 down the middle with the uh, sick face emoji. Um, 
I had to grab these again. Um, I didn't get those specifically because I always wanted the OG pair from I think like 97 or 96. Was it 97 or 96? From 97 to 96. And the 2016 version was the closest thing to that. So um, here it is, the flu game 12, man. Um, again, let me get into the story time about this shoe here, bruh. Story time with this joint is, again, I was in the mall with one of my boys. That, like I said, back in like 2009, we went in the mall. That's when Jordans was still kind of sitting on shelves. Um, bigger sizes um, were hard to come by because they were selling out, but luckily I was able to get the shoe. So it's 2009, we go in the mall, we go into Foot Locker, I pick up the shoe, see the price. I think at that time, Jordans were like maybe one, were they like 150? I think they were like 150 at that time, bro. It's crazy. I'm gonna look up the retail and post it somewhere, but I think they were like 150, 160 at that time. So I pick it up, I'm like, damn, 160, yeah, it's kind of steep. Um, again, I'm just working at uh, Win Dixie, so you know, my checks a week was like 100, 110, 120, uh, 150 max. So if I spent $100 on a sneaker, $150 on my on sneakers, I was gonna be broke. So some girl, I can't remember her name, she was an employee, I think she was a manager at that time. Can't remember her name, shout out to her. She's like, see me like, it's like, oh, hey, um, like hey you want a discount on those i'm like what's the catch she's like hey just grab me something to eat man and i get this discount on the joint so she wanted some pizza i believe or some type of food i can't remember exactly but she wanted some type of food i was in the mall i said okay cool went and bought it then she rung me up i ended up getting them drinks for like i think 109 or 110 bro i was so excited bro that i took the shoes off that i had on my feet i took them joints off and I put these joints right on. Same day, right out the mall, walked out the mall with these joints on my feet. So, you know, this is just something just to tell y'all, man, back then, man, um, saving money for sneakers was like a big deal back then, you know what I mean? Especially like classes like this. Back in high school where I went, bro, Jordans, Polos, uh, Air Force One, all that joint was crazy. Like, we wasn't crazy into like Air Jordan Ones and stuff like that back then, but stuff like this was like hood classics. These were classics. So. I told y'all before in one of my other videos um, that I had regret selling these, um, but they were in a size 10, but I did get them back in a size 10 and a half and I'm glad I got them. Um, I only paid $219 um, for the sneaker. Um, it is used, but as you can see, in great condition right here, great condition. Um, little creases right here, nothing crazy, but nothing crazy at all. Um, that's the right shoe right here. Here's the left shoe. Nothing crazy, bro. Again, as you can see, the bottoms decent, bro. Like I say, the person that had them, they definitely wore them. I noticed that. Um, but I did do the legit check. Usually, how you find out automatically um, with the Flu Game 12s if they're legit or not. Remember always to look at this area right here. It's always going to be translucent. Um, on the actual tab right here where it says 2 3, it's always going to have that big space between this and this area right here. Um, I don't know how people, um, I, I could tell how people could actually um, legit get like uh, receive fakes on these joints because they're very, very close with the fakes, but it's like those subtle details. But as far as the review, I'm gonna give y'all a quick review, man. You see it right here. Red sole right here with the black hits for the traction pads. Then right here, you got your carbon fiber. So it's red all the way around the midsole. You do have your little ridges right there. Medial side, you do have your Jumpman right there. You do have your uh, mudguard right here in red. Uh, in the reptile um, texture right here, usually the fakes are extremely, extremely like uh, textured and it pops out. These are small, looks very well on that end. And then you got your upper all the way around, which is all black, plush leather. Um, again, bro, I was glad to get these because these are the OGs. I always wanted the OGs. Um, but this is the retro of the actual OG with the leather on the top. Again, the ones I bought back in 09, they were all like suede. So again, dope, dope, dope shoe. Look down the tongue itself, it's also leather as well. And you then you have your two, three coming down the tongue, as you can see it there. Hopefully y'all can see those joints. That two, three. Here's that Jumpman Red, Jumpman right there. Um, as far as like the dates and stuff on this joint, it was like, October 28, 2015 to March 3rd, 2016. So that's when this shoe dropped was in 2016. You got your black eyelash right here, the black laces, no extra laces. Again, you got that hit of 23. 
back here in black on the red uh, outsole. Um, again, bro, very, very dope shoe. You have your black Jumpman right there. Um, and then you got your 23 in red right here. So, yeah, man. Um, I just thought it was a dope story to tell because, I, like I said, I've been looking for this shoe for a while. And for me to get it in this condition for the price was decent. Um, I seen Paris Gold as cheap as like 300 uh, and as max as like 350 So, I was like, okay, if I can get this shoe for close to retail and it's worn, broken in already, it's a go. So, don't be afraid to buy you sneakers. Um, again, I already had opened this up um, and legit checked, but just kind of giving y'all some stuff to look for as well. But yeah, man, that story always stuck with me, man. I literally bought these joints in 2009. Literally, bro, I didn't waste no time. Bought them joints for 110, put them joints on my feet, came to school the next day. You already know what was cracking, man. Let's just say flocking, bro. Like, people know me, bro. This thing about sneakers, bro, hasn't been just a just now thing. Shout out to all the new people that get into it. I, you know, it's cool to see y'all, but bro, I was I was trying to get in, bro. Stuff like this, bro, was like, damn, like grails, grail stuff, bro. So I'm glad I got this back in the collection. Y'all let me know, was this a good pickup, man? I know with everything going on, nobody should be buying shoes or caring about shoes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to still be able to save money, sell sneakers, and also um, uh, buy sneakers, you know what I mean? So. You know, being very, very thankful, man. But I want to know from y'all, is this a good pickup? Uh, do y'all care for this shoe? Is it a hot shoe? Is it not a hot shoe? Y'all tell me, what, what's, what's up? Do y'all think it's a good investment? Do you think, uh, what y'all think about the story, man? What's the first sneaker you had in your collection that you paid with your money? Not mom and pop stuff. I'm talking about what you pay with your own money. Before I go, man, also, Jordan Brand. Jordan Brand, Jordan Brand, Jordan Brand, Jordan Brand. Hopefully you're hearing this, bro. Bring the retro cards back. I still have the retro card from that sneaker. That's why I said like, this is this is from the pair from 2009. I had this joint sitting there. This always a reminder to me to get the shoe back too. But this is the actual retro card right here, bro. So here's the retro card right here, bro, from 2009. You see it right here, man. That's why I said, bro. It's just certain. It's little things that uh, the, the kids from you know back then really enjoy, bro. And I enjoy the retro cards but bring the retro cards back Jordan Brown we missed this this did not come with no retro card if you get a pair of Air Jordan Flu games and it comes with a retro card it's fake just know that only only shoe that came out in 2016 with the retro card and then have the the actual uh shoes on the back of the card was the Master 12s but that's neither here nor there man let me know what y'all think in the comments y'all make sure y'all hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell the future belongs to those who prepare today I'm out.